Hey everybody, it's Brett and today I am extremely excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler two-door Sport S package in black clear coat. I'm excited to do this one because not a lot of people do the two-door Wrangler videos and not a lot of people do the Sport videos so this kind of checks both of those boxes and I can show you a bunch of really nice options on this Sport S that are added features to this vehicle and I can show you what all those features are. We're gonna take a look at the original window sticker. Stock number on this one is 24J140. It's linked in the description below, a link to this vehicle on our website. If it says sold in the, in the title, um, it is sold. If it doesn't say sold, good chance that it's still available. But I'm gonna go all the way around. This one has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, 285 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. It's gonna to get you 24 miles per gallon on the highway. 18 city for an average of 20 miles per gallon. Uh, this one does have the LED lighting group. So you get the LED headlamps right there, the LED running lights and the LED fog lamps. Now, those lights come standard on the Rubicon and Sahara models, but it is an option on the Sport and Sport S package. So the other thing is that this one has the safety group, which gives you the LED tail lamps. So getting this group does not give you the LED tail lamps. Uh, you gotta get the safety group for that. We'll look at the original window stickers, so stick around for that. Uh, obviously the seven slotted grill for the seven different continents that Jeep's been on. This one has the 1941 decal on the hood. The other thing I learned today is that these vents here, if you count them, there's seven of those as well. Another Easter egg I did not know about, just caught it today while I was driving this vehicle off. All the Sport S's come with the Gorilla Glass now and the um, antenna in the windshield, which is pretty cool. Still has the plastic bumpers. You get this kind of piece right there. So it kind of flows right into the fender. You get the tow hooks on front. These uh, tires, I believe, are new for 2024 Nexon Rodian ATX. They're really cool. They have a, like a rock design to the lettering and on the sides of the tires, so that's pretty cool. These are 245-75R17s and you get the painted and polished aluminum wheels. They look really good with this Sport S package, kind of an all-terrain um, or all-season tire on here. Get the plastic fenders, the trail rated badge now comes on both sides because that antenna is in the windshield. You still get the sandals on the plastic shroud there. Still has the T50 to take these doors off. We did a demo on how to take your doors off your JL if you wanna check that out, that's linked in the description below. There's also a full list of all the options in the description below and pricing and all that good stuff. Here's the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not gonna go through everything, but most of it, especially the optional equipment. Two-door Sport, black clear coat. 3.6 liter Pentastar, eight-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment. Then the optional equipment starts with the black clear coat, which is 595, the customer preferred package 24S. That is the Sport S package, 24S is a $3,500 option. That gives you the power heated mirrors, the premium wrapped steering wheel, the windshield with Corning Gorilla Glass, anti-lock four-wheel disc brakes, deep tint sunscreen windows, remote keyless entry, full speed collision, forward collision warning plus, adaptive cruise control with stop, advanced brake assist, and sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors. The LED headlamp and fog lamp group is a $1,495 option worth every penny. You get the, obviously the headlights and fog lights. The convenience group is a $1,995 option. Gives you the seven inch driver information digital cluster heated seats, heated steering wheel, front door passive entry and lock, so the enter and go system, remote start, air conditioning with automatic temperature control. That also gives you the dual climate controls and uh, emergency call assist. Technology group is a $1,295 option, gives you the Alpine premium audio system and the 240 amp alternator. The safety group gives you blind as a $1,395 option, gives you blind spot and cross pack detection, automatic high beam headlamp control, which is pretty sweet, park sense, rear park assist system, and LED tail lamps. 
So that's how you get the LED tail lamps with the safety group. You don't get it with the LED headlamp and fog lamp group. You get it with the safety group. Eight-speed automatic transmission is forty-five hundred bucks. The nineteen forty-one hood decal is two forty-five. Those all-season tires are or all-terrain tires are four ninety-five. Seventeen-inch by seven and a half aluminum wheels are one thousand ninety-five dollars. Total MSRP is fifty thousand five hundred bucks. If you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Jeep, like I said in the description below or in the upper right-hand part of the screen, is a link to our website. Click that to get all your incentives. Three-year 36 bumper-to-bumper, five-year 60 powertrain. There are your miles per gallon, your greenhouse and smog ratings, and then not really rated for a lot of safety stuff yet, uh, but three-star rollover on there. So we'll get to the interior in just a second. So those are all-terrain tires. Get those LED tail lamps. And like I said, we're gonna turn all the lights on in just a little bit so you can see how bright they are. LED, or I'm sorry, backup parking sensors back here as well, the matching spare tire and wheel. We'll take a look at that subwoofer. Not much to look at back here. Don't even get a storage space because of that subwoofer. You get windshield roof and door hinge bolts. And uh, you could remove that subwoofer, I guess, if you didn't like it or wanted this extra space. There's just two bolts there and then a quick disconnect for the power. These back seats are removable. I did a demo on how to take those back seats out. Actually a really popular video. If you wanna check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. Uh, another Easter egg, the seven slots back here. So that's pretty cool. And then you get the JL badge, two door, four door wheelbase and overall length, as well as water fording where it's made and where it was developed in. So that's pretty cool as well. Those doors shut nice and smoothly. A lot less effort than the old ones on the JK. Blind spot and heated mirrors. You get the, now Jeep calls it black. I think it looks like dark charcoal. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But I do really like the gold stitching on here. That looks really good, especially on the steering wheel really adds a nice accent to that steering wheel. This badge is new for 2024 with the Jeep and the Gladiator backed up to each other. You get the cloth dash trim. I don't know how I feel about that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, power mirrors, power locks. Not that I don't like it. I'm just concerned that in the future, when these come in trade, they're gonna be very dirty and hard to clean but that's part of my job here is to set up the used vehicles. So that's why I'm concerned about it. Anyways, seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer, compass display on there. You can change all those corners to read whatever you want. You get the multifunction heated steering wheel. And that is part of that convenience group. Um, adaptive cruise control, regular cruise controls, Bluetooth and inform information center controls, audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. Here's the Uconnect 5, 12.3 inch touchscreen radio. You get all your different apps here. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities, as well as Bluetooth, USB, and AUG setups, as well as Alexa. You, climate controls are right here. And with, I believe, that convenience group, you get the dual climate controls, which is really nice. Heated seats, steering wheel controls there as well. So let's go to the apps, everything on here. I'm not gonna go through everything just because a lot of this stuff is just basically links to different parts of the radio. It does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I believe those are wireless, so you don't even have to um, hook them up via wire. Um, have off-road pages, which we'll check out in a minute. You get the backup camera, which is nice and HD, crystal clear and standard on the Wranglers now. The off-road pages, which we'll check out in just a second. Get those system and then those. And what I like about the Uconnect 5 radio is see how fast it went. I pressed it and we were immediately in the off-road pages before I'd have to wait like 10, 20 seconds, to talk about something else, but these go right to it. You can see as I turn the steering wheel, those wheels turn up there and the angle changes. You also have if your transfer case is locked or unlocked, which is pretty neat. You also get latitude, longitude, and altitude on there, pitch and roll, and accessory gauges on there as well. So a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with this radio. The other thing that changed with this dash for 2024 is they changed these air vents. They used to be on the sides of the 8.4 radio or the 7-inch radio, whatever one you had in there. 
uh, but now they have this big radio as standard across all the Wranglers, so they've made these vents underneath here. This top dash part changed a little bit as well. The other big thing for 2024 mid-model refresh was that they added side curtain airbags and made those standard on all the trim levels. So good job, Jeep, for finally doing that. You also get assist and SOS buttons up here and home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. And down here, everything has is pretty much the same as the 2023s. All your climate controls, heated seats, heated steering wheel controls, start stop, stability control, speed select control, crawl control, parking sensors, um, window controls. You get a USB, USB C, and AUX jack, 4x4 shifter, the 8 speed automatic transmission, keyless entry with remote start, flipper key on there, nice chunky key fob. Always know which keys you have in your pocket. And once again, that cloth dash. I'm just afraid that they're going to have fingerprints and just be really dirty and hard to clean in the future. Uh, they changed the map lights as well on the middle bar here. It used to be just a big cluster of them right here, but I'm guessing with the side curtain airbags and everything that they uh, had to change the layout of that a little bit. Also good to note that you get side curtain airbags in the back as well. All right. Let's turn on all those lights. I'm going to turn off all the lights in the picture studio and do a final walk around here. I did want to show you before we get too far the uh, back seats so you can kind of see how much room is back there. I'm sure once you get back there, they're pretty comfortable. It does have latch child safety system if you want to try and get a car seat back there. That's up to you. And a driver's seat height adjuster as well. Four-wheel disc brakes. If I missed ever, anything in this video, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always trying to make the videos better for all the viewers out there and for our website, of course. I'm going to pause it, turn off all the lights, do a final walk around with all the lights on so you can see just how much of an added value those bring. All right, so you can see just how nice and bright they are. I think it's a very good value for the $14.95 or whatever to get those uh, look really good. And of course, this is what you want to see is a lot of brightness in front of you. Um, I would say they're probably three, four, five times brighter than the normal halogen lights that come on the Sport. And uh, just a very, very nice option to get. I have a feeling this Jeep is going to go very fast. Uh, it's nicely optioned out and hard to find two doors. And then you get the LED tail lamps. They look really good as well. And the LED license plate lights. All right, that pretty much does it for the video. Remember, there is a video on how to take your back seat out linked in the description below, as well as how to take your doors off of your Wrangler JL. So check those videos out. There's also a link to this vehicle on our website which is coming up right here, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle on our website um, or on our lot, including this one. And if you wanna see more videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and specifically Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. 500, almost 500 Wrangler videos I have up there, different configurations, packages, options. Uh, so check that out. And almost nine, over 9,000 videos on the YouTube channel of many, many different vehicles. So check it out there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to how to take your doors off of your Jeep Wrangler in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sport S in black clear coat with the convenience group and the LED lighting group. Thank you so, and the safety group. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.